Well, welcome to Rick's Corner. I've been getting a lot of emails from people saying, tell me about working neck. Now, I've done this a couple of times before. Uh, I had a lot of comments that didn't understand what I was talking about, but I'm going to go over it again for you so you know. People want to know about working neck. Why do you work your neck? Well, why wouldn't you? It's a muscle. It's part of your body. And be honest with you, think about this. When you walk up to somebody, what's the first thing you see? Their face. Usually your, your eyes go to their teeth and their eyes. And then you go to their neck. And if they have a skinny neck and big shoulders, you're thinking, something's out of proportion. Something's not right here. Because a lot of people don't work their neck. Now, remember Freddie Blassie from wrestling calling everybody a pencil neck geek? A pencil neck geek is a guy who's got a little skinny pencil neck and can't defend himself because he's got a skinny little neck. And that was used as a catchphrase for Freddie for many, many years. Um, going back in wrestling, uh, lo almost every wrestler works his neck. They do wrestling bridges in high school, they do it in college, they do it in the Olympics, and the pros do it in the locker room to work your neck because your neck supports your head and the rest of your body. This is what leads you around. If you grab somebody by their head, their neck follows. If you have a strong neck, you can resist anything. So it's really, really wise to work it. The other thing is, when you work your neck and the muscle, you're increasing blood flow to the brain and up and down your carotid arteries and in, in from your heart pumping the blood in and out and it helps circulation. So you're not gonna get any clogged arteries in your side of your neck if you work it and get the blood flow. It also alleviates headaches, if you can believe that. When I've had a headache and I've worked my neck, my headache goes away because they're getting circulation again. If it lies stagnant, there you go. It gets like, thick and sludgy and you start just dropping and falling asleep. All right, I incorporate my neck workout probably twice a week. I used to do three times a week depending on what I want to do, but the size of my neck would really grow quick. I can put an inch on in probably two weeks. There's several ways to do it. Now you can do a wrestler's bridge. I don't like it because it hurts the top of my head. I did it before, it doesn't feel well. You can get a wrestling neck strap, remember a, a lifting neck strap, and it's okay to go this way and this way, but what about sides? It's hard to work the sides with that as well. If you look at these pictures, you'll see my girlfriend worked my neck. She would give me resistance on the bench from the back to the sides to the front. And I worked all four sides of the neck. I do three sets of maybe 12 reps, 15 reps. My neck would be so pumped when I was done, it was bigger than my head, so to speak. All right, that's one way. The other way, if you don't have a partner, I put a pad on the squat bar and I will give myself my own resistance, one leg forward, one leg back, and I'll do the front. I'll do the sides, both sides, and I'll do the back with resistance. I'll go around probably three sets like that, and it works my neck at the end of the workout. So I really feel that you should. If you go and look at bodybuilders on stage, those that have a complete neck and trap, they look great. Those who have flat traps, straight across, and skinny necks, it doesn't do a thing for their shoulders. So um, it's one of your body parts, and it's one of the most neglected body parts, because I rarely see anybody do that in the gym. Now when I do it, on the bar, people laugh at me. What are you doing? I said, I'm getting my head into my workout, so to speak. But it's important to me, and it's not a waste. And I, trust me, I've done it for years. If I have her doing it on the bench and working my neck, oh, that looks sexual. Well, it's not, it's working my neck. And like I said, in the locker room of our wrestling shows, all the wrestlers would work each other's neck on the bench or wherever we could just to get the blood in it. So my suggestion to you is try working your neck. It's, it's going to round off your physique. It's going to give you a much more powerful look with your head sticking out of your collar with a nice big thick neck than a skinny pencil neck that looks like a stack of dimes because you don't want a broomstick neck. It doesn't go with your body. And that's my tip of the week. So try it. Tell me if you like it. You can always send me comments on YouTube. I read them. And thank you again for watching Rick's Corner. RickDrayson.com. He is the equalizer, baby. See you next time.